Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MuseCast. Um, this is episode 50. We have made it to episode 50. We have done 50 conversations like this, most of which have run an hour, over an hour. So we've done over 50 hours of talking to each other uh, online now. That means I've talked to you 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> And that's just on camera. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. That's 50. And we've been doing this almost almost a year, over a year. Dude, we've been it's doing it over, over a year because we missed yeah. some. And like some months, we only had like two episodes instead of one a week. So yeah. we're probably like 14 months in. We, we could actually look at the first episode and we'd know we officially. <laughs> um, but either way, hey, we've kept it going. You know, most, most uh, podcasts out of nowhere would have fallen off by now and and do you know 50 oh, yeah. episodes is not easy to get to you know there's this guy by the way guys this is going to be an awesome episode because we're going to talk a ton about the q the muses stuff release dates well not exactly we'll, we'll get to that lots of release stuff it's, it's about to happen um but there's a guy named gary v and he's a marketing guy and he's kind of annoying but sometimes he's interesting he, he has some good information but he is always asked at live events and stuff if they'll if he'll be on their podcast. This is like like everyone oh, they asks ask, him. They ask they him ask live? him directly. Yeah. Oh, wow. They on just the put, spot, him put him on the spot all the time. Yeah. And his response every time is like, make it to a hundred episodes and I'll be on your hundredth episode. Get to a hundred, oh. I'll be there. He, yeah. I promise I'll give you my contact and we'll get it to happen. Yeah. You know, and I've never I'm, seen I'm him appear on a hundredth episode because <laughs> <laughs> people don't make it, you know, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's I, I'm sure it is hard. You try to find like it, depending on what, you know, we kind of stray in and out of a couple different types of conversations, right? We usually talk about music related stuff. Obviously we get into fitness. We get into health. We get into a little bit of obscure stuff, but you know, we've, we have a, we have a fun well, time. Talking. We have a great time. We talk, and, there's, we talk about camera gear, audio gear, recording, marketing, um, life stuff, spiritual stuff. Yeah. Inside stuff that we know about our jobs, family, everything's on the table, including penis size. So now with episode 50, since you yeah. bring up penis size, <laughs> yeah. chapter is chapter three. <laughs> Chapter three, guys. Chapter three of Q the Muses is looming on the horizon. Now, this this isn't this isn't that's not my penis thing. size. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter three, the number three, yeah. <laughs> in relation to penis size. No, um, so we're we're close, like almost within. You know, we can't say a date because there isn't a date, right? But it's it's, not an exact date it's, yet. It's it's safe to say in the next two months. I, I think thing? where I'm looking at is realistically, because a lot of this hinges on me getting a bunch of things together. And that's what we're going to talk about in this. I got a list of things. If so everyone will know exactly how close we are, what we're going to kind of put together and how this is being released, because we're doing this different than we've ever done before. Yeah. But I'm looking at somewhere around mid-October to release the first thing. The first, dun, dun, part. Dun, dun, the first part. So this is the big twist. We might as well just get right into this part of it. And I want to kind of have the opportunity to explain why we're we're going this route. But we are for the first time ever going to be releasing the song, the music video mm -hmm. first. We're going to release it as a standalone music video. And I think we're going to, my suggestion is, and this is kind of the fun thing, guys, because if you're interested in like, you're, you're going to get to ride this wave of me and Dick getting to talk about our release plans in real time. Uh, some of it we've talked about. This part we haven't exactly talked about, but I think we release that in mid-October and then a couple of weeks later, like literally just about two weeks later, we put out the entire full episode that has the music video in it, but you get to understand what the hell is going on and ride the story into it. So I think about a two week gap between releasing the music video and then the full episode that lets you know what the hell is happening in the music video. Yeah, I think a two two weeks gives two two week two full weekends of of listening. You know, because we've had we've had two chapters come out so far, and if for anybody listening who doesn't 
know what <laughs> Cube News is. is. <laughs> so our episodes are a, a scripted kind of um, uh, scenario. We, we, wrote a, we wrote this five song EP and we have packaged it inside of a scripted web series with a story Ash and I came up with together and and it 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 has campy silly two guys who aren't actors who are surrounded by a bunch of amazing <laughs> talented friends who yeah. are uh you know trying to save the world with our music no spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen it check out episodes one or sorry chapters one and two that are out now and you'll see the saga up until this point now this strategy of releasing the music video ahead of the chapter will it's a it's a curious experiment so i'm confident with this next song that it, it's a banger and it's going to be fun and people are gonna you know love it hate it being different whatever but I, i'm confident that people who do like it are going to like it a lot because of the the mm -hmm. style it's a little different than the previous two that we have out i mean this it's not a continuation of the previous two, so to speak. It kind of stands alone in its own little bubble, I feel like. I, I kind of, I mean, I, look, bands say this about themselves all the time, thinking that they're more dynamic than they actually are. Now, some bands are truly dynamic, but we've definitely, everyone's familiar with being around bands that kind of sound the same throughout the whole thing and think that each song, this is a good one. And it's like, it kind of sounds similar. Yeah. I think the reason that these actually stand up to the idea that they are very different from one another <laughs> is twofold. One, they're really long songs that have a lot of parts. So there's not the same formula to these songs. Automatically, it's going to be like, it's a different composition, a different arrangement, because we're mm -hmm. just like exploring these long songs. And the other thing is, is, you know, and I know this has been done a bit, um, but it's not often done. We have a different singer on every song. So it immediately makes it a very different sound, bringing in a completely different vocalist. And that's what we, we tried to keep that in mind in choosing the vocalist that we wanted each vocalist to have a distinct, different sound from one another that was amazing at what they do. And I mean, the vocalist really took the whole project up to this, this next level when it came to the to the music. And so we're really excited about the next singer that's in in the next song. Oh yeah. And and this song, this this vocalist, I believe is one of two vocalists on this project. Only two. He's one of the only two vocalists who actually put in the lyrics Easter eggs of the the web series itself very Actually, directly yeah. yeah yeah so some 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 direct easter eggs in the vocals and it's it really works you know it was it it's does a, it's a really 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 fun when he part. first did that you know because the way that we we did this guys is like we me and dick wrote we spent um like 10 months driving over to each other's place mostly at the dick studio in crawfordville and write it we wrote songs and it was just two guitars and then we found later the drums the bass the vocals and the next thing that we found really you know that we were testing before we went was vocalist and so the way that we got to test that and sometimes was getting to have the vocalist come out to your studio at the time mm -hmm. and um throw down a few ideas we didn't expect anyone to have a full idea you know and so this singer came out and he laid down like a little bit and at first when he went to those parts where it was so specific to what the script was i first of all i was tickled that he actually did that because it's like oh he's really following along with what the script is i love that <laughs> you know the only thing that we requested of the singers <clears throat> lyrically was just to please not sing about religion or politics you know it could be it could be I, vague it could be spiritual it could be whatever it could you could bury it in there a little bit but we just didn't want to cut our audience in half and there's too many too many members involved in the project that probably have we're opening the can of worms to everyone having opposing opinions it's not like a four-piece band where you can make sure everyone's on exactly the same page bands yeah, break yeah. up for politics like system of a down is broken up basically because of politics you politics know and they're one of the biggest bands of all vocals. time <laughs> yeah that too yeah totally man. I, uh, well that's a whole yeah. other story different, and i don't mean to take it down a tangent. 
Different channel. So when this thing, but at first, I would while I was tickled with it, I honestly didn't know. I had to really step back and think: Is this is this musical enough? Because it like are, are people gonna get? And then I was like, no, it really works. Like after I heard it the third time, I felt more confident. It's like I liked it at first, but then I was guarded. Like, wait a second, is this actually? Are we getting too down the rabbit hole here? Of you know what our show is, will it stand up on its own? And I think well, here we are, and it's the first one that we're going to try this approach of releasing the music first. So obviously, we think it can stand up alone, even if you don't know exactly what's going on. Um, I mean, for for people, I think here's what I want to explain real quick, and this is, I think this is important. The whole concept behind this that was so original is that it's a show that releases the music inside of it as part of like the unfolding story. Like that's the whole idea that makes this such an original fun thing. That's the, and to release the music first, to be honest as the person that's like editing all this and you know, like it, it hurts a little bit, but here's the reality guys, you know, there just has not been enough people that have gotten to watch the first couple of episodes and that would mean that we are requiring people to watch the first two episodes just to get to hear this one song. And um, that's just not what I want to do. I think that the the reverse might actually make more sense. We've talked about this a bunch now, Dick, mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. you know, people are more interested in watching characters that they know or like on some, for something, you know, in particular. Like we're no name ultimately in the grand scheme of things, right? People don't know who we are as far as the world goes. Yeah. But I if you like you a song, I know you. I know I've, you I've met are, yeah. you before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, I you know, mean, in the... <laughs> don't derail. Do <laughs> uh, but it's like, if you love music, of like, I mean, this is the... Then you're more interested to check out the music video of the band that you like, mm. right? So let's try this approach here. Let's let everyone definitely get to hear this song. You don't have to like go through anything to get to hear it, you know? And if you dig it, if you dig the song and the video, then totally go check out the episodes because this is cra This is a crazy, awesome, yeah. such a unique concoction. It's, I don't think there's another independent act on the planet right now that has put in the money effort and time to make the kind of thing that we're making with the way that we're unveiling this album. I don't, I don't, an independent band. I do not think there's another one on the planet. I've looked it's, and I cannot find an equivalent yeah, not, of this not effort. A, not an independent band, you know, yeah. and just effort. I'm not saying like, it's the best. I'm just saying like this thing is so you, that unique is all. Yeah. Yeah. And so by releasing the music video first and granted <clears throat> it's the, this song I think is like, just under eight minutes this is like mm -hmm. this one's like 756 so it's eight it's minutes. our short one this is this is a short one for cute the muses <laughs> yeah and you know attention spans these days are tough you know everybody's watching 30 second reels you know flipping through stuff on their phone and i'm nothing wrong with that just saying that's kind of like kind of what the normal is and short short songs long songs this this track this music video i've seen it I've seen the video yeah. at your house and yeah. it's in, it's intense. And this song is like, it takes you places. You could take, you could take six 30 second clips out of this song. Maybe not say, you could take several 30 second clips from this song and you wouldn't even recognize that it was from the same song, individual clips. If you just heard it, because it yeah. goes that, that many places i mean yeah i, I don't want to sit here and hype up something that nobody's heard yet like well, well I, I feel like I'm you could say here. you could kind of say that about i think any of the other two songs as well that they 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 all go so many places yeah but you know i agree like you we could we could show different parts of this and you wouldn't necessarily and th this is another interesting thing about our situation here is that it's so cool to be able to use different singers across the board but it's also like that much harder to establish that like, oh, that's cue the muses. Yeah, because it, they're, they're weird songs that go different places there. But we're also like instrumentally trying to do a different thing in each one. And we're using different <clears throat> singers. So it's a little bit and, and not that we've had enough exposure for people to have that opportunity to be like, oh, that's cue the muses. But 
inevitably that will if there was enough people listening it and we put out a new song people wouldn't necessarily recognize that oh that must be a new cue the muses song because we have maybe a different singer you know and we've done mm -hmm. a totally another different mm -hmm. approach on it musically so it, we've yeah. created some weird hurdles for ourselves but it's also like the artist's dream in my opinion it's like no holds there's no borders to where we can go with it what we can do what our sound is what we we don't need to fit into any criteria we're just doing yeah. absolutely whatever we want with <clears throat> access to tools that most people um that are independent don't have you know i mean most people don't mm -hmm. aren't in the band with you know a guy that has all this equipment you know that can make a full you know movie basically well yeah certainly and i feel i feel like there's a lot of bands out there <clears throat> probably more than we realize that that have um kind of visions to do things like this you know definitely and that definitely. because i know i i've i've ever since i was little starting out i always thought about striving to to do even the, the first music video was like the first hurdle right it's like man mm -hmm. i i would love i would kill to to be able to to make a music video out of one of my songs you know growing up as a teenager yeah. and all that and i know mm -hmm. every band does every band wants to do it absolutely video. and it's like you said not not everybody's sitting on a business with video gear and skills to use it i mean everybody everybody has a has a camera and a lot of this people is misconception is well, i can film it this and i can make one well you you can it's you can. just incredibly <laughs> more complicated than you kind of think it is right yeah. i mean and and the quality the quality gap is so big but we're we're us doing it ourselves i think is hope hopefully gonna knock down some doors to to start because this this type of thing sh can and should become more of a predominant feature in in mu the mu the rock music community because i think you know so much is watered down Absolutely. so much so much like like you said earlier the there are bands out there and i'm not down in anybody but you put the cd on and you had the first song sounds great second song okay sounds good Yep, third song. Okay, these guys have a thing, and they do their thing, and that's fine. There's a lot of bands like that. I, I like to play in multiple bands because I like different things. Mm -hmm. I'm in a couple different bands that have different styles, and I I enjoy that. And then I have my own stuff, and I enjoy that. It's a little different, but this project, this particular project, is so fulfilling. Like you said, because it goes so many places as a as a rock musician. This is like a rock musician's dream for for me to for this project. It was a different vocalist on every song, different styles, no holes bar, like you said. And and I I hope that this encourages more groups to to push for that and don't sit around and 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 you know long for it. Like you gotta fight for it. This, this wasn't easy. This has been, we're on year three, four. No, we're <laughs> All right. So let, let's get into that too. Yeah. Cause, uh, and, and there is, I mean, I'm going to, we're going to keep drilling down on more and more information about this release. Cause there's other things I want to talk about with it, but just in that oh. regard. So I'm editing this and I'm looking at the dates on the footage of when we filmed this music video. Keep oh, in mind wow. guys, this was the first music video that we filmed because we filmed yep. out of order. So we we've, we've basically filmed 95% of what the four shows are. There's like two or three more days of filming that'll have to happen to complete the final chapter that wraps mm -hmm. up the our EP that's the length of a full album because it runs about 40 minutes and that episode is I'm going to be doing that next year. I'm just like I'm this year I'm finishing this one. These are each one of these is like a movie that I'm, you know, it's a, it's a quite mm -hmm. an endeavor on the editing end. And this is an example of that. So I'm looking at the dates, 2020, February, 2020, February, February 2020 is the ladies date and, when we ladies and, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's before COVID. Yes. Well, no, no, it was, it was right. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's think about this for a second. I'm editing. It says February 20. It had to have been COVID was still happening. COVID was happening because one of the people that was helping us get the place where we were doing this mm -hmm. um oh there's a little bit of a buzz in your mic unfortunately that thing that happens sometimes with the digital a buzz in the mic yeah it's got the fuzzies 
Hold on. Keep keep talking. I'll, I'm gonna. So one talking. of the guys that helped us get the place, um, Kenny Parker, who also did have a part in episode one. He plays one of the Normans. He got COVID and he couldn't come out to the shoot. Actually, at the time, I think he wanted to come out to the shoot, but he was being very respectful and asked, would your you know crew be OK with it? And every, and the reality was, is that there were definitely people that were going to be there that didn't feel that comfortable with somebody at the time that COVID was an unknown thing. And it was as extreme as it was. And you're hearing body counts rack up because it was that new. Um, and I was like, look, dude, I'm sorry, man, but like there's so many people involved and you know, the kids are coming out. I, I just can't really have somebody that definitely has COVID around the production. I hate this, but could, would you please stay home? And yeah. he respectfully did, which was, you know, a big thing, but so it was, yeah, February, 2020, we're in 2024. Okay. So we're talking about that's just the filming of that. At that point we had got, we had spent a year before that writing the music and then going and recording it. Mm -hmm. So Very we are talking point. about, we are five years into this, which absolutely blows my mind. And you can see it guys a little bit in the footage because we do look a little bit younger, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> Kenny, uh, Kenny came back. Kenny came back. He didn't make it for the first video. Unfortunately, that, that buzz is right there. Isn't it? It that totally, too? yeah, it's like a distorted crackle. Like a bad connection. I don't know if check one two. It's still there. I uh, hate to be that. I'm just like I'm thinking about. It's not a yeah. hardware thing. It's a it's no. A, um, it's a computer thing. So yeah, tell, tell him how Kenny. Tell him how Kenny came back and played a um a Norman. Well, I did mention that a second ago, but yeah, he 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 actually we did get him a part in the movie, and he plays in episode one. He's in the trailer even. And he is one of the Normans that, that pops out. And so he did end up getting in it at that time, actually, when he was helping us set up, he wasn't even necessarily going to be in it. Well, he was going to try not to reveal anything that happens in the video, but he was going to do something in it. But in this case, he actually got a face shot in it. So he was got to appear in it for a sec. But yeah, it's been a while and it does take that. It is insane how long it's taken. Now, that doesn't mean that I've worked on it every day for five years. Right? That's just I've explained a million times in this and I can summarize it in one sentence. You know, I took off six months, made the first two episodes, thought that'd be enough time to make all the episodes. And it wasn't. And I've just been having to piece together the time over the last two years to put together this episode, you know, and then next year, I hope I can put together the whole entire last banger of a chapter um, next year. And then we'll release it maybe around, you know, this time next year. And that would be really cool. Meanwhile, hopefully writing some more music between now and then. But but that's where that aspect is at. Am I back? You are. Nice. Oh, I'm so relieved. That's <laughs> great. What did you want to say? I'm sorry. What were you um, saying? I was talking, you know, when we went through that first video and COVID was doing the thing and we had, we can't reveal the place. Yeah. I remember Kenny was out. Kenny's brother, uh, James did come out though. Um, and man, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait. I can't wait for the podcast episode after this comes out and <laughs> we can we yeah. can talk about more of the more of the we specific. can talk about a lot of specific and we're going to have on the singer so that's one of the things is like the week that the first episode that we do after the release of the song we're going to have the singer on the muse cast right here you know episode whatever episode that ends up being and mm -hmm. uh we're going to talk about a bunch of that stuff and also the other projects that he's been involved in i don't know if he's actively in one right now or not and if you guys have been listening to the pod cast then you know who it is already because we revealed it in the last episode or the episode before that but we're just going to go ahead and keep it under wraps again for the moment um if you go to cue the .com, you can see the roster of singers so it's going to be one of the ones that we haven't Take, had sing yet taking taking bets taking bets yeah, taking bets and go the pictures back, behind us episode 49 and you'll find <laughs> yeah, out yeah go go searching um and the the picture behind us is you know a little that this is from the music video you know mm -hmm. i mean these these are unreleased shots so far we're gonna um i'm gonna give everybody that's a in the band a profile pick the week of the release of the music video you guys can 
I would appreciate if we could all upload a pic, you know, that pic is our profile pic to try and help, you know, just let people will even see. Cause it's, again, the last episode was totally dedicated to how hard yeah. it is to get Facebook to acknowledge you, and talk about, you know, YouTube a good, links and things. A good strategy when you're talking about changing Facebook profile pictures, a good strategy that Kurt actually should be Kurt Rogers, um, from defy the tyrant. Yeah. Um, he, cause he makes flyers quite a bit he makes show mm -hmm. flyers a lot he's like the black tyrant ants <clears throat> flyers for all the shows that that's him he makes all those and <laughs> which are awesome his his strategy that i think works pretty well is actually going on facebook and changing the cover photo when you change your mm. cover photo there's a weird thing that happens where it makes a post automatically and it says ash has changed his cover photo and for whatever reason that post that's not actually an intentional i'm posting it's like a, a byproduct post circumstantial post it seems to get more views it seems to be pushing more people and so kurt's strategy is change your change your cover photo then go find where facebook um, did an automated post on your behalf that you changed it and edit that and then put a header on that and that becomes the post of your, your advertising through that and it seems to work a lot better than just by by post. header do you mean like well, when, then you go you put the information yeah when you whatever. edit it you can put yeah. text you can add okay. text to it and and do and make it more like a normal post that makes sense and, i've never done that that part of it would be a great addition and i agree with the additional exposure that when you change that so i think what i'll do is i'll make a header that's universal like a single header that we'll all have up Mm -hmm. uh, because we each have different friends and all that. Yeah. And then we'll, I'll also give you guys profile pics as well. And so you don't have to do them simultaneously. In fact, it's probably better if you do one one day and then one another day. So we get more, you know, more posts yeah. out of it rather than back to back. Mm -hmm. um, what I would also suggest is, you know, I think one mistake that I've made in the past with doing that is I'll do that with a picture for maybe one of my trans am videos, for instance, you know, or I'll do it for, I've done it, uh, we'll I'll do this where I'll put up the header and then in the comments, like we talked about last time, I'll, then I'll put the link to the video, you know, and then all yeah. the plays or I'm sorry, the likes park, it doesn't move any further and, and Facebook stops sharing it. So yep. guys, let's not put any links to the website or unfortunately nothing that takes you off Facebook. Just don't add that in the comments. Just talk about what it is. And people, you know, the cool thing is, is that we do have a website. It's obviously listed right here, cuethemuses.com. Mm -hmm. If you type in Cue the Muses on YouTube, we're going to pop up. If you Google Cue the Muses, we are what comes up. So it's very findable if people just know that there is Cue the Muses and they go to look for it. They just need to know that there's content that exists. And if there's, you know, this is one of those times where because we're going to put out a new episode, it's so helpful to try and, you know, even reshare our other stuff just to get people to catch up to speed on what the hell this is and um, mm -hmm. get some more people that know about it before we release, you know, the, the third follow up to it. Yeah, we're going to re-upload the, the songs from the first two chapters. I think That's before right. I think before this comes out, I want I want to have this one to talk ready. About that. Yeah. And let's, let's, cause we need to figure that out. Like what's going to yeah. be the date. We don't have a date right now. We need to figure out what the date is. Do we want, do we want the single for chapter three to come out on streaming platforms at the same time as the video release? And I, yeah. What do you think? I mean, I have an opinion, but I'm happy to hear what you think. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, that, I'm, I'm opening up the dialogue, asking the question. Yeah, I don't, this I don't is really, perfect. I don't really have an opinion yet. Okay. And this is what, this is what I wanted this episode to be is like, you guys actually get to hear us discuss what we think will be good. Feel free to comment if you think we're making mistakes on something. Cause like, but Hey, you know, we're, we're here's our hurdle. We're a band. We got this crazy weird project. We're not performing. We don't perform, you know, so we don't have a way of getting exposure that way. So we're just trying to think of things that would kind of hopefully generate exposure and finally get people to recognize this thing exists more. So, I think what happened was, is we had pulled off the previous two songs off of Spotify because we kept getting, uh, anytime we shared that music or anyone shared that music on their social media, 
um, it would get muted and, or it would get removed, which yep. really screwed us up because there was a specific, one of the best things that came out of Spookala was there was a specific person that wanted to share it who had like 150,000 followers on Instagram. And he wanted to share one of the videos. And in the video, it had like a clip of the song in it. And he tried to do it and it was like removed. And that was like going to be the most exposure that we'd ever gotten. So it's like, that's it. That's the final straw. Let's pull our stuff off of, unfortunately, have to pull it off of Spotify, Amazon. We just can't have this that way. And in the last episode, we talked about there's new features available now where you can choose to allow people to share it. Yeah. Um, there's even a $15 per song feature that you pay annually per song where you can get royalties on your music and then DistroKid takes 20% off the top. I I think we should do that for the first year or two of the song's release, but and, we can dis discuss that later. Well, and, and I, I need to look deeper because <clears throat> I saw that, I saw that $15 per song on, on the setup when I was finalizing a release that I'm doing. And then when I got, it's a, I have a seven song release that's coming out tonight. And when I got, by the uh, way, by the way, by the way, um, by the way, I want to, I want to finish, well, um, finish talking about the, okay, um, right. the, 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 the paid program that is through distro kid. And yeah. this is, this is, I think when I, when I released the seven songs, it appeared that instead of per song per year, it was just per the release. So Ooh, the fifteen okay. ninety five, you could see. So you see what I'm saying? I think it's I saying do. you could pay fifteen ninety five each per single. If you release seven singles, then you're paying fifteen ninety five seven times for the album. Basically. Or if you have the full set released, you're paying fifteen ninety five for that set. And okay. then it, but then it also charges twenty percent of any earnings generated from the social media posts. So, and that's that's broad across the the spectrum from. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Um, YouTube Shorts. Now it's the YouTube uh, video. The video will be uploaded to our specific um, Cue the Muses YouTube channel, which whatever plays is ge generated there. That they generates have nothing to do with that. revenue. Yeah, they don't. And when anything. you say Shorts, do you mean YouTube Music? I think YouTube. Now I'm not sure because yeah, I think it would question. be YouTube music. And then, cause shorts are just literally short videos that run 90 seconds or 60 seconds. Okay. So it's, so then it's not like Instagram shorts where you put a video and then you have the option to put, um, a sample from a song on it. Like I did well, one the other be, day. Yeah. It yeah, could be shorts know. and YouTube music. Maybe so if people share it via YouTube yeah. shorts, however, yeah. shorts don't pay barely anything mm -hmm. um and it's just a, a lot of it's just a clip right and we have yeah. to pay to be on that list we have to pay yeah. to be on that list so when you pull up your short and you go to browse the song i want to put cue the muses on here we have to pay to be on that in that directory gotcha oh i see so it can yeah. be an uh, audio that people can put on there from that yeah. would be what it is with twitch okay Th that's great. I think it's worth it because before that, like we talked about in the last episode, which is a great episode, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, you're, we weren't going to get money at all. So to take 20% of something when we cents. had nothing, I don't mind. We get 80 cents on the dollar. So yeah. And we get yeah. exposure, you know, it gets put We're up. Get I, also, <laughs> I know at best. <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> and I also feel like it's one more, like safety check to make sure that they don't mute our stuff for any reason. Cause now they have a, yeah. an, an interest in making sure that that's very playable and available because if it took off, they make money. So yeah. I think it's one more safety net and that's great. Cause the original question that we were exploring was whether to put out the song as an, as a single, or if we wanted to put out the other two songs first and then this one, my, what I think would be, the right thing to do it's just my opinion is one i want to have an actual video clip that loops that plays when you play that song easy for me to make i just need the specs that's pretty standard issue for spotify now for bands that have video to show mm -hmm. um, and it makes it look a lot more professional and hell we've got it you know the video is one of the biggest things we have going and i think that we should release them all on the same day 
um, as an as an album is fine because the next songs aren't going to be for another year. Yeah. And and I think that what we could do is if we were going to pay, try this out, if we were going to pay anything, we haven't dis discussed this yet, but if we were going to pay to be on any uh, potential playlist, in other words, so play people that have good playlists with counts um, that have listeners, mm -hmm. you can pay and they'll check it out. If they dig it, they'll put it on their playlist that week. And that can work for some bands to get exposure. If we were going to pay for any of them, we go ahead and just focus on the new one that we're trying to push right now, which would be, you know, our, this next new yeah. song. Yeah. And I'm okay. I personally think why not for, you know, the first week or two, just, mm -hmm. just to get some activity because velocity is just so important when you first release something that that initial how fast plays accumulate out of the gate which we're I'm, look i'm not expecting us to get a ton but why not if we're going to do it that'd be the time to do it is right I, when we release it i agree for for a couple reasons initially i was in the school of thought that we should release the other two so people can start jamming it again and then the new one comes out and put them a month apart um two things have changed my mind one is obviously just just the cost so it, i think yeah. and i'll, I'll research bonus. and i'll find out but i think you know we'll end up paying 15.95 for all three rather than paying 45.95 for three individual totally or whatever that, that ends up to. and the other per year what, <clears throat> yeah per year and the other one is what you just said with the velocity with three songs coming out at once at least there's there'll be instantly more plays generated because i gotta believe that even if somebody listens to us or pulls a song up, if there's three to choose from three, like a three song EP that's released, if you're on that track, you're going to listen to one. If you don't like it, you're going to go to the other one. And then there's mm -hmm. going to be this fun thing where, you know, they're listening to an album. Maybe they don't have no idea what it is. Maybe, you know, um, uh, uh, my soul is an element pops up and they hear Nadira singing and they listen to it for a little bit. And maybe for some strange alternate universe reality, they don't like the way Nadira sings, which is impossible. And they, they skip it. And then they're like, oh, wait, there's, there's, who's this guy? Is this the same band? This doesn't sound like the mm. same band. Then there's that, what's happening here? You know, a little bit of. Well, you, you know what I do? I mean, this is really what I do when I listen to Spotify. And I mean, if it was Amazon, I'd do the same thing. I do listen to playlists. I've discovered a ton of awesome bands that way. And when I hear, a, a song by a band that I've never heard, I immediately click on the band. Yeah, That's what I do. Cause I want to hear more songs by that band because a lot of the playlist isn't that good. Mm -hmm. So when there's one, I'm like, Oh, maybe the, and I've discovered amazing that bands that way. Yeah. yeah. So if they click on that and they go and then they're, Hey, there's three songs, there's nearly 30 minutes of material mm -hmm. to listen to. That's how you get a fan. It's hard to get a, a, a fan that'll follow a lot of you. If you only have one song out. But I feel like, hey, the other two are out. We're, we're they'll each have cool little video clips. Mm -hmm. There's more to check out. You know, I, I think it'd be great. Why don't we? And, and they might find us through this one that we're pushing on the playlist um, for the first week or two. So, so question: Spotify. I don't use Spotify. I use Amazon Music. It's just whatever. It's what I use. Um, does you I said will Spotify, judge you. Spotify plays a video loop is it just a yeah. short is it just a short loop is it a full mm -hmm. video full music video how long no no it's it like... it's basically like a, a 10 to 15 second loop from the music video that goes with the song and most bands at this point if they don't um have a music video they've generated something visually that will show so it's it's if you have your screen on and you're playing that song and mm -hmm. you're um app is dedicated to listening to that song not just a song on a playlist like you've clicked on the album or whatever yeah it's going to open up and it's going to have the full uh your full screen will be filled up with some kind of video and then you get to see the band a little bit and kind of get and it just looks a lot more professional plus it lets you know that there's a music video that you could go check out okay. and i've done that i've gone from there to then go see a music video so that's that's the best advertisement we can get because it's a loop it doesn't sync up with what they're hearing it's literally just a repetitive loop from yeah, the music yeah, video, yeah. but it's our, like our stuff's something, visually something cool to look at. I feel like if totally. they, see, they see our stuff, they see part of the video. It's going to look, they're going to be like, Whoa, what is That's that? The whole idea. 
how do I find the video? I want to see the right. video for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah. like that. So we got to find out how, how to do that via through distro kid. Cause I know, I know you can do it. And obviously I can make whatever the specs are happen, you know? Um, so that, that's well, part of. Well, okay. So this distro kid, when, when we release, you need to give distro kid at least one week. Okay. When you do it like, so you can't, we can't, it's not a good, you can, but it's not a good idea to upload and say, I want all this to come out day after tomorrow because Agreed. what yeah. they have to do, they have to submit it to all the, there's like submissions and approvals and it has to go through some checks and it takes time to get it to all the obscure ones out there, like whatever Apple something, you know, who knows, but mm -hmm. so it's going to be at least a week. So what yeah. we should do, what we should do is I uh, can, I can do it maybe the week i'm up there at your house maybe we can do it the week you're down here um for the king crimson stuff that weekend i think you guys stay the night over here or you face frozen? i don't know we'll have to figure that out well <laughs> let, off, let, off here. You're, you're good you're maybe good let's I'm let's a... do it let's do it together because there's another function that is there where you can upload the lyrics and i think yes, that's always a good, good. I, it's always a good idea. I, I like doing that. I like, I like being I able to read the lyrics, you know, and totally my app, the Amazon app will, when you play the song, it, there's a function you can click and it'll actually like karaoke. It'll actually like have the lyrics being read. Same as thing, Spotify as you're doing it, which and you I can think press on it anywhere that, on the lyrics and it repeats right back to that spot. So when yes, you're trying to learn how to sing yes, a song, that's yes. really cool unfortunately that function actually costs more per song so okay for free you can upload just the lyrics and you can that i guess that makes it where you can click and you can read the lyrics but that interactive function where the lyrics read you, you can click it and go back to that spot i think that was i want to say it was like five dollars per song to, okay. to do that it's not an annual thing pay pay once and it's there forever I, um, you know, it, when you spend cool, 600 right? hours just to make the video part of one song, let alone writing and spending five years making it, I just feel like, hey, five bucks for this, 15 bucks for that. I'm in. I, whatever gives it any chance of people being able to listen to it more or yeah. enjoy it more. And singing along and knowing the lyrics is awesome. Like, I'm $5 per song, 15 bucks remember guys Total, I, i'm you in can, you I'm can in. you I've can got so much more money invested in this than that and so <laughs> guys you you can backtrack your goals i might be off on this math you can backtrack your goals if you want to make ten thousand dollars on your song plays just do ten thousand divided by 0 0.02 and that's how many plays you need to make ten thousand dollars on streaming that's actually I think I did Not that. Right. Terrible. I think, I think it's right. Do I think we it's actually point, get that much money. I think it's point zero zero two. I'm sorry. I think so. I think so. I think you're right. How much? Because that's not bad, actually. Yeah. That's better than YouTube pays. Pay. YouTube is roughly. It can vary widely, but two to six thousand dollars per million plays. Mm, yeah, that that makes sense. So let's see here. I'm pulling it up. Pull it up. Yeah. Oh, it's point zero zero. It's more than I thought. It's point zero zero three. So yeah, backtrack ten, ten, ten thousand dollars divided by yeah. point zero zero three. Oh, <laughs> you only need yeah. three three million three hundred thirty three yeah, thousand three hundred and thirty three point thirty three plays, and you will have yourself enough money to buy a used Hyundai. <laughs> that's possible if if not in today's market unfortunately <laughs> um, that's, what, that's why we're doing cue the music the way it is it's not mm -hmm. you can't it it seems unfeasible to think that you'll make a living just because we don't play out we're not touring we're right, not doing right. shows we're not right. selling you know cds or merch at shows we're all we're doing is making a product and letting people hear it where's it there's no revenue for that obviously with streaming now that's why let's package it up in this in this fun. That's not why. It's just since we're packaging up in this. <laughs> I'm with you. I think people video. follow. Yeah. <laughs> but in addition to that, if you're looking to support the show in some way, all right, look, we, we do have a Teespring account. 
where we have some merch on there. However, I what I'm uh, would like to do upon the release of the full episode when that comes out is I'm gonna I wanted to add, and I kind of want to be a little bit selective. All right, I I feel like to some extent I'm you know when I look at <laughs> when I look at really high end you know bands and stuff. It, they don't have, they have less options and just dial in the right design. And I, I'm going to offer three new shirt designs that are very specifically for just three different shirts. Like, <laughs> I, I actually want to offer a few less options and make sure that it has a certain look. And these shirts are going to be for all three episodes. So there's one for each. It's a special shirt for each episode that's come out. And on it will be um, actual pulled shots from the music videos. It'll be some kind of collage design. Mm -hmm. And um, those will be coming out when the third episode is out. So now you can go to Teespring now and you can totally buy anything on there. But we might end up with a slightly consolidated in looking at how the merch normally is for a lot. Of, a little bit consolidated. The designs that are there will still be there. We might hone it in a little bit just so there's a little bit more direction on controlling the style that's associated with. I haven't looked at it in so long. I don't even remember what's there. I know we have the illustration of Nadira on there and we've got some cue the muses font logos. Yeah. It's like, we kind of, it's just, there's a few too many options, I think. And it's like a little bit like, I don't know. There's something that feels a little bit special about dialing in like the, what we think is like the official look mm -hmm. to represent a specific thing. I want to keep absolutely that design. <clears throat> I just don't think it needs to be on 30 different things. I think we need to get some of 20 these. 20 different ways. I think we need to get some of these. Now, a stuffed creature for each episode, I would be totally this, into. I don't know if you can read this. This is actually a Mastodon. That's awesome. Plush whale. This came with the VIP That's package awesome. that Amber got me. I got two of them. There's another one in the house. <laughs> oh, dude. That's how really cool. cool. Would, how cool would that be to have little cue the muse plushies or something? Well, I would be uh, totally in it. I, especially if they were a little... We'd have to be a little careful because... I Well... We'll have to talk about some copyright stuff afterwards. Um, <laughs> which character, what we what we emulate as a stuff team. Um, but th that that is something that we'll you know have, and you can. T that is a big support. Like that is a way to actually <laughs> get, throw a little money towards the project. Um, would be great. That'd be amazing. Um, also, um, j -j 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 oh, so here's the plan for uh, by the end of the month or the very, very beginning of next month will be a teaser release for the music video. So we'll have our first teaser release. Um, and that five, way people will hear seconds. <laughs> Maybe we'll see what it ends up being. It's going to be short. It's going to give you a little bit of something. You'll get a little bit of a taste of it, but that's it. It's just a teaser to help people know that it's about, uh, happening. And you can share that and stuff. And then once we release the um, music video, the week after that, I'm sorry, when we release the music video, that's also going to be when a trailer is released too for chapter three. And actually the end of the music video will have the trailer happen. Like when you arrive at the end of the music video, you're going to see the trailer for chapter three to go check out. Oh, cool. So I cool. think that that's important because, you know, if people dug the song and they're immediately launched into a trailer. It's like, oh, it's a episode and then it like connects and it'll so just give, you know, like see what's gonna going be, on. That's going to be integrated into the music video. Like, so it'll be like as the end. Yeah. A a after cool. the song's cool. completed and we'll have a standalone trailer as well to start hyping up, you know, that there's a the full episode comes out in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And. I got to, I got to, for, I can't, there's no, no, uh, reveal here, but I know what happens in this episode. I haven't obviously seen the episode itself. I know what happens. And I know that I personally am looking forward to this episode more than any other, as far as the <laughs> scripted parts of it, I'm okay. 100% looking forward to this one more than any of the other ones. it's really fun this is definitely our rated r episode if there was if we were going to categorize which one's rated r this is it 
they're um, all rated R because I can't stop cursing. We curse like on crazy. Camera. <laughs> yeah, we, we curse a lot on them. Uh, what else? So we got the shirts. That's the timeline for the teaser, then the trailer, the release of the song first, then the chapter. Uh, we're going to have on the singer from that song the week of the release. And here's what I have left to do. So here's the actual technical. This is exactly what I'm working on right now. <laughs> what I have to do before we release this in order to release it. Um, I am color grading the last acted scene right now that happens in the episode. That's one of the last things that has to happen to complete the episode. Then I need to edit roughly, I've got to do around five to eight VFX shots. So I need to spend like basically one week just kind of making those shots where some bells and whistles happen for a few things. That's Adobe After Effects. Then I put together all the parts because it's such a big thing. What you do is you kind of make each section of it. And then you color grade that, you export it, and then you put all those sections that have been rendered. You got to assimilate it all together, make sure it all connects well, even out audio and all that. And then I have to make uh, credits. So I'll make, you know, the opening title credits, I'll make the closing credits. And then I've also got to make a uh, chapter one, chapter two recap that opens the episode. So you get caught up to speed on what happened in the last couple, because it might have been a year since you watched those. I always skip um, those. Do you? I, I mean, not not saying in ours. Like I have ours no won't have the option have, to because I we have don't no have the sophisticated button yeah. to do so. <laughs> I'm just saying in general, like series recaps, like episode yeah. recaps, and yeah, I feel like I feel like these days, they're they make sense for what we're doing because these chapters come out years so spread apart. Yeah. apart. <laughs> yeah. And they're like an annual thing where people who binge watch shows, they're watching four or five episodes of something in a night or whatever. They're, they're not watching the recap. They're, no. they're hurrying up. They're, sk they're skipping. I want to no. see. But you know, sometimes more. I'll get paused in the middle of a season and for whatever reason, I get sucked away and forget about it. And then I revisit it a few months later and it's nice to have that, that recap yeah. there. Then that's when I watch it. In our case, I think it's also a benefit for people that might click on this episode, even if they haven't seen the other two, just because they like the music video and maybe they saw the trailer and that's just the first link they come across because that's what we're, we're promoting. Mm -hmm. And then they open up the episode and they see, oh, there's like these two other things. There's a whole story happening here because part of our hurdle is getting people to understand what the hell we made. And so when you see a season or chapter recap of the first two episodes, chapters, it's like, okay, so it's like a full story. So I'm, I obviously am not going to know fully what's going on. You start watching a little bit of it. Hopefully you're like, this is great. Wait, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go back and check the first couple episodes out first. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, look for the three people that worked for. All right. It's a win. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, so I got to do the season recap or, you know, the chapter recap at the beginning. Then I actually get to export the full episode, get that uploaded, get all the tags associated with it, get the mm -hmm. synopsis written out, get the title figured out. Um, and then we have it basically ready to go. But then I also have to make the, oh, I'm sorry, I have to make the trailer before I export that episode. So that way it can be attached to the music video portion. I guess I can actually finish the episode, then make the trailer then make the final music video file, upload that, prep that for launch. And then we're kind of sitting on go for the right date to release it. I think I've mentioned everything. Yeah, that's it. Th those are the, so, so it's like, it's actually a lot of things, but it's all little stuff and it's very realistic to get that. And I'm setting a deadline like that is going to make it happen. I want to release it no later than mid October, because as we get further into October, there's about a three to four week period that will be like batshit crazy for me work wise with Trans Am. I'll be out in Vegas doing SEMA. Um, it's only going to get more and more intense. So I would much rather us be able to release that first thing around then. I guess that means that <laughs> that's going to put the release of the episode right when I'm going to see. We'll have to figure that out. At the absolute latest, we'll wait one more week for me to get back from yeah, SEMA. We'll see how that I'm, falls. I'm out of the country that last week of October. Okay. So we, October we might Halloween. wait, we might wait 
three weeks then. We might wait three weeks to release the full episode so we can be actively available to push it. Um, that might make more sense. But it's going to be that close connected together. And then the last thing I wanted to mention, then we can close up this bad boy. We ended up talking the whole hour about it. Yeah. Is absolutely, it. if you are in the Q the Muses project, um, whether that be on the crew or that you're in the band or you're an actor, um, and you most of you know this via the the one of the Muses groups that we have going <coughs> through Messenger, but we are going to do a private viewing right here in Rough Cut Productions. We're going to crank up the stereo. We're all going to get together. I don't know. You know, we'll we'll make a night of it and we will blaze that video together and it's going to be a great time and we'll all high five each other at the end. Hopefully <laughs> that we did it, you know, because there was a lot of help to make this happen. Um, you know, this this episode, what, look, the cast is very small in all these episodes. However, we did have additional people in this. A lot of people came together for the um, the location that we filmed the majority of the music video at. There's a lot of really, uh, and, and people helped film. I mean, Pat and Preston Hooks and Brandon um, all helped film it, you know, because uh, again, when I'm acting or performing in it, I can't operate camera. You helped film too, you know, when it was during my scenes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, yeah, it was amazing. Like it's actually, it was a, one of the biggest, it might've been the biggest crew that we had for one of the music videos out of the yeah, whole we had production, Mark, really. Mike, Michael Mitchell was was Michael Mitchell. Run God, town. you were a savior, dude. You, yeah. I wish you lived in town. This is the problem. Not everyone lives in town who can come to this little yeah. viewing party this, here. But that was this. This was the big one that he helped on. Like, yeah, super, super, super huge shout out to Michael Mitchell. And he he also yes. came and and absolutely busted his ass helping on My Soul's an Element <clears throat> and Afraid as well. Yeah. Yeah. He was so helpful. Uh, I mean, that guy was so nice and kind and fun. And I can't thank you enough, Michael. But I mean, a lot of people pitched in. It's just like this guy literally drove in from out of town to help make this happen, brought his trailer and yeah, physically hours. just busted his ass yeah. and was really on the ball. Helped run audio for scenes and stuff, too. Helped yeah. move around and set up props. You know, he, he, he was great. Yeah. And on top of all the hard work, he just he had a great time and everybody around him had a great time with him. He's just one of those guys, yeah. you know, just yeah. want just smile and having like time of his life. And it was infectious, man. Yeah. But, He's a real roadie. I, wish, I, yeah, I wish that Michael could be involved in everything I do. <laughs> and I wish he lived professor. closer. Yeah. I wish yeah, he lived closer, man. I need to get him um, in. Get Michael, when you get you down, I think he, he works shows. He works. Uh, yeah. I, have, I need I need to text him. I need to, need to get in touch with him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll I'll I'll still invite him to this, you know, and I, I don't think he'll be able to make it, but nonetheless. So yeah. that'll be fun, and that that's going to happen uh, before the music video comes out. So probably we'll we'll coordinate <coughs> here. Uh, we are going to the King Crimson show on September twenty seventh. That's going to put us out of town in your space and your neck of the woods. So we won't do it that yeah. weekend, but maybe we're, we're flip flopping. I'm up there the week prior the week prior so i mean we leading up to that yeah yeah oh, but not the weekend friday. before <clears throat> no that's a that's a friday i'm i'm not leaving until the sunday the weekend before sunday the sunday the 22nd then i'll be working up there 23rd through the 27th so the you'll be at the 23rd yeah the 27th will be i gotta i'll have to play it by ear it might end up it might end up that um, that I drive me and you drive down the same time on the twenty seventh, and Sounds then Amber, like Amber and Kyron um, drive over and meet us there, down you know down there. I'm, I might be yeah yeah to the show, and I got a you know I've got uh, some my you know Tristan and his girlfriend are coming. My buddy um, from Panama City is coming. He's going to ride with me, and then I got another buddy. So we're all going to be. Uh, packed up in the van leaving early on Friday, I think is the plan. Get out there. Yeah. But, but I gotta, that, yeah, I don't no, know I'm, if I, a... blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, go ahead. I, I, I mean, I think a weekend makes a lot of sense to do it like a Friday or Saturday. But if you were here on that Thursday, I don't know, that might be, 
feasible. I and mean, we could do potentially a Thursday night. That's normally when we're doing this right now. This is our Thursday not, nights, our amuse cast nights. It's not in stone. Let me see if my company can get the easement grant that they need for the for the project we're doing. And as soon as I have a signature on a piece of paper, I'll know I'm going to Tallahassee right now. It's gotcha. Gotcha. Definitely not. Um there's no signature yet. So I'm, yeah, I'll no believe, worries, believe no it worries. when I see it, but that's the plan. That's what the okay. plan is. Well, guys, it's we'll not, keep you posted on, on what day makes sense that we're, and, and obviously it's not going to just happen. Like in particular, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that it works for, you know, the band to, you know, see the, the music video. So I'm not going to do it on a night that the, the singer can't come for instance. So, so oh, singer, yeah. don't worry. I'm not going to schedule. If you can't come, then I'm picking a different night. You know, we got to do it a night that both you, you and Dick can be here, you know, so. Yeah, it's all or nothing. It's all yeah. or nothing. Maybe you could bring Tim with you. You know, that's not a bad idea. God, I'd love, I haven't gotten to watch one of the premieres with Tim. Tim hasn't been here for one of the premiere nights on one of these. So he, that's our drummer. Timothy DeDuro, I'm kidnapping you in a month. Yeah. I've been yeah, slowly man. talking to him more and more. He has been so busy. He's, He's back so busy. On, well, I, maybe a Thursday night would be better for him too. I don't know. My <laughs> the last time I <laughs> last time I talked to him and tried to get up and do hamburgers, he said, oh, "I'm playing Boston tonight and in Ver Vermont tomorrow, or you know, <laughs> somewhere in New York." Which is tomorrow. great. I, it's great. Yeah, I just I would awesome. love to have him get to watch it with everybody and hear the reaction, and we all get to laugh together. I mean, these are the silliest episodes. I mean, we're, it's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. And guys, we're super excited to finally get to this point where we can discuss this much detail about chapter three. So we'll give you updates in each episode leading up to it. They'll be minor in comparison to this night, but this is, I have a clear vision. I'm this close. I can give the, this timeline tonight. And that is the plan. So I'm going to stay on it all the way through the release and juggle work and all that. <laughs> but I, this is so close, man. I can see it. I'm going to make it happen. We're right. looking at roughly yeah. mid October. We'll pick out the right day for release. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited. <laughs> cool. Awesome, man. Um, all right. Well, we love you guys, and we'll talk more to you soon. Thanks for listening to the MuseCast. Episode 50. What a great episode to talk about it on. That's right. Yeah, tune in Tune in next week for episode 51. Oh, Fe featuring, featuring more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at you. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing set in stone yet, but it's going to be cool. We'll, we'll release it shortly yeah actually i had a list of other things to talk about tonight that we didn't so we'll bring some of that up next week good stuff yeah. interesting yeah. stuff yeah. we'll have some cool stuff you guys take care thanks for hanging with us bye guys